back um, and give you all an update before I did my first retype. So here it is. I did um, make a list of questions that I wanted to make sure that I kind of talked about um, just to make sure that I'm addressing a couple of things that I think is important um, in the beginning stages of Sister Locks. So um, to start, I just wanted to talk about uh, how much I am loving my sister locks because that is one of the main questions I get from like my friends. They're like, well, do you like it? You know? Um, so I wanted to go over that. I absolutely love my sister locks. I can't explain to you the freedom that you get from having this type of hairstyle. In the last three weeks since I've had these, I have um, literally just gotten up and gone. I'm um a lot I'm on time a lot more now than I've ever been cuz I am a late person and it's primarily because of my hair. My husband absolutely loves my hair. Like he is almost mesmerized by me. On this journey, it's part of really embracing your natural self to the utmost degree and um it took a long time for me to make decision this decision and actually come to do this. So, it it's not an easy process. My hair used to cause me so much stress and ugh, just don't even want to think about it. But I, I'm, I'm just so happy because I'm free and I actually like really love the way I look with it. So I'm just extremely happy. So like the ones on the edges here are mainly the ones that have come out. And then on this side as well. So it's literally just that little section because as you can see I have one here and that one didn't come out. But this one did come out. So, and then I have some in the back that have come out as well. Back here. So, I don't think it's that one. So, as you can see, there's a few in the back that have come out. Um, Is this uh, because maybe of something I'm doing wrong? Yes, that's a possibility. Because I will let you guys know that... Um, I do probably wet my hair um, every other day. I don't, of course, put my hair under water or put my hair under shower, but I do put water on my hands and I bring it through my hair like this for styling purposes because I typically wear my hair down on a daily basis. I wear my hair like this and in order to get it kind of a little bit stretched, I do need to wring some water through it, so I kind of just put water on my hands and I go like this. Um, I also use my little spray bottle and kind of go around sometimes. Uh, my spray bottle, I have some conditioner in it. I don't know if you guys saw me in my last video spraying that little blue bottle. That I actually put R-O-U-X, that Rue conditioner. I put a little bit of that and mixed it with water in that spray bottle, and that's what I spray. Um, I saw... I think it was Ledge Journey. She did that. So I just kind of, she said that her loctician said it was okay. I, didn't I do get my first retight on February 3rd, which is next Friday. Today is January 24th. So I am almost to my one month anniversary of my sister locks. I think the only thing that I do that I shouldn't do right now is maybe wetting it every couple of days. I don't think I should do that, even if it's just putting the water in my hands. So I'm going to find out from my loctician when I go to my appointment and just let her know that I have been doing that and ask her if that's, you know, okay, because it, it is just in my hands. Also, I do take it when I take a shower. I, um, in the beginning, I was wearing a shower cap, but I started um, not wearing a shower cap and I just changed, I just put my shower head like really down so it doesn't hit my hair just hits my body so the mist gets in my hair and I like that. What I don't like is my hair is different textures tremendously and that's part of the reason why when I was loose natural I couldn't really wear my hair in a uh, wash and go style. As you can see the back is very tight curls and what tends to happen is that when I have it down I just feel like it's such a big um difference maybe I'm tripping so you guys tell me if I'm wrong or not if you can really just see a big difference I, so I think that's it for my first month update um how I've been wearing my hair like I, I think I mentioned I've been wearing it down in this ponytail I, I have a lot of frizz could be from 
not wearing a shower. I hopped in a shower. Another thing it could be from, when I first got them, I was wearing a uh, bonnet every night. And then I got a satin pillowcase. And I stopped wearing a bonnet. And I've just been laying on my satin pillowcase, sleeping on that. I don't know if that's attributed to the frizz. Maybe some of you guys that have had sister locks for a while can tell me. I'm not really sure. But yeah, okay. let me know if there's anything else I can answer or anything else I can kind of talk about when it comes to my hair or thinking of starting sister locks please 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 go and look at let's journeys journey <laughs> um because she's one of the reason why I decided to go ahead and do it because I loved that she vlogged her journey from beginning to the end uh, continue on this journey with me I am um, really appreciating some of your comments and if you have any questions comment below and um, don't forget to hit that red button and subscribe so you can continue on this journey with me. All right. See you next time.